Happy Friday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name is Caroline. Welcome back to my channel to what is going to be a very short video today. Um, it is Friday afternoon. It's 2.30 here in London, Ontario, Canada, and I still have a very busy work afternoon ahead of me. Um, but it is thanks to you that um, I have I have work to do and so normally I would record a, a more leisurely Friday podcast where I share you know my my weekly crafty goodness catch up and also maybe read a few of viewer stories that are sent to me funny or just uh, last week two weeks ago we had a, a love crafty story which was rather wonderful I still have yet to choose a couple of winners I have um, We've read the stories, my family and I. They are the judges, not me. <laughs> they are the judges. Uh, and Nicholas is head is leaning towards the story of the dog who ate the yarn. <laughs> and Sarah and John are leaning towards the story uh, from last week where the uh, the pine cones were for dinner. So, uh, so. I will I will have a couple of winners chosen on Monday, but again, this is going to be a continual thing. We're gonna we're gonna keep reading stories, and and I'll choose the odd winner every now and then. Um, but the shop has been really busy this week, and floss sales have been rather wonderful. Um, it's a fairly new venture uh, for for me and also for the dyers themselves. Uh, Carrie of Leo and Roxy. Carrie and Jolyn are yarn dyers who've been dyeing yarn for a number of years now and Carrie has branched out into dyeing floss and I am the exclusive carrier of that floss and so I thought to say thank you today to you because it is because of you that uh, that my shop has has seen some success and I'm growing and I just wanted to say thank you and let you know that I really appreciate your support of of my shop so I thought I would do a little floss giveaway today I have chosen three colors I've got them here so I'll share these with you the red is called 11 points and that is the uh, that is Carrie's Canadiana red and it's named 11 points because there are 11 points on the maple leaf and the color in the middle is called storm cloud and it is it's the most beautiful sort of soft pale blue gray more probably on the gray side than the blue but it does have that kind of undertone of blue in it it's really really a pretty neutral and then on the end we have Royale plus which is the more variegated version of Royale. And I just thought that it paired really, really nicely with that 11 points. So I've put together five sets of three and I'm gonna give these away. So this is only going to be a YouTube giveaway. Uh, normally on Mondays I do a Facebook group giveaway. Um, my last, my height, I have a, I have a giveaway going on at the moment on my Instagram page, which is at Evertotes. And if you look for uh, posting there, I have um, a set of purples and a chart, uh, Keslin design charts up for giveaway. So if you go to my Instagram feed and you hunt for that post, you can leave me a comment there and I'm going to pull the winner for that at the beginning of April. So this is just going to be a YouTube giveaway and giving away five sets. So, um, you can leave, you know, you've got five chances to win a set of one of these sets of three. And um, I'm going to only leave this open for one week. So next Friday, I will choose the winners of the floss. And that's it. That's it. I, I still, like I said before, I still have quite a lot of work to get through this afternoon if I would like to maybe take a few hours off tonight and do some stitching with the Friday Off The Grid Facebook group where anyone is welcome to join. Uh, we post photos of our starting point and of our ending point. We try to get in six hours. It's rare nowadays that I get in six hours. I did 
stitch for a few hours last night and I posted that I was joining with the members of our group who were already into their Friday. Um, we have lots of friends from Australia, New Zealand, and um, you know, Japan and China. And so I just thought, what the heck, it was Thursday night and it was time to do some stitching. So someone's letting me know that it's perhaps time <laughs> to go O-U-T. <laughs> And then back to work we go. Okay, so I'm sorry for the short video today, but I'm sure you understand it has been a very, very busy time. Uh, the timeline for moving the business. I think there was a little bit of miscommunication between John and I, where I thought that things were going to be much further ahead by this point and um, that I would already be in there by, by now. But I failed to understand the scope of what all has to be done. It's not just my unit that's being, everything is all of, there are four units in this place, they're all being done at the same time. And uh, there's there's drywall and, um, you know, if you've lived in, among, in and amongst Renault's where there's drywall compound being put on and sanded, you'll know that that dust gets into everything. And so it would be very, very foolish of me to move anything into that space where that would have to be something that I would be dealing with because I, you know, <laughs> I can't have drywall dust in all of my stuff. So at the moment, it's looking like April 1st is going to be when I'm going to be moved in and ready to be working in the new, in the new space. So that's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see. But in the meantime, um, you know, the boxes are piling up downstairs where, uh, you, you know, just little things like I had to order a new ironing board and I needed a new iron and um, more packaging materials. And I'm, I've run out of room up here. So the boxes are downstairs by the, by the, you know, they're in the living room and in the front door. And so we have these little rabbit warren of, of pathways through these boxes that are packed and ready to go and I can't take them out of here yet. So <laughs> it's been it's been a little chaotic, but it's been a lot of fun and I'm just we're I'm having the time of my life. It's it's been really wonderful. So on that note, I wish you a very happy Friday and a wonderful weekend full of crafting if you have a few spare moments just to, you know, spend on yourself and find some some time just to put a few stitches in. I am going to be back on Monday with a regular longer floss tube episode. I have been doing some stitching this week. I have almost completed Miss Patty's cowl that I shared on Monday. Um, I would really like to finish that up this weekend so that I can gift it to her because it is, it, it's spring here in, in London this week. The weather's been beautiful. We are supposed to have an amazingly gorgeous weekend of beautiful sunny weather. You know, I think the temperature is supposed to go up to 12 or 13 degrees Celsius. It's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. So, um, <laughs> I think I've missed the boat with getting Miss Patty her cowl while the weather was still cool enough to wear it outside. However, that doesn't mean that I don't intend to finish it quickly and get it to her um, and, and give her her gift. So um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, Miss Patty, um, she's a wonderful friend of mine. And I shared a link on Monday's video um, in the description box on Monday's video that will take you to, so that you can meet Miss Patty as well. She's, uh, she's an, both an inspiration and just a joy to know. And I'm lucky to have her in my life. So um, okay, so that really is it. I, I, I better go. I'm getting looked at. I'm getting the stare from you know who. So on that note, happy stitching everybody. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Take care.